God took Ezekiel to a wall and there was a hole in the wall. He said, Son of man, look through this hole. And as Ezekiel looked through the hole, he saw a strange covenant meeting taking place. God revealed the covenant meeting to his prophet. And by the spirit of prophecy, by the spirit of prophecy, the covenant members began to fall down one by one and they were dying. There is somebody here tonight. If you pray this prayer with your might, next time they mention your name in any covenant, those mentioning it shall fall down and die. Can you shout this loud and clear? Covenant powers! Discussing my life. Your time is up. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Covenant powers. Discussing my life. Your time is up. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Silence. Something strange is happening to somebody. This is strange. It is actually a brain exchange. You have been noticing that all of a sudden you are in the middle of something. You forgot what you were doing. You fly off your brain. It's an attack. Something is happening to that person. Thank you, Jesus. That person sponsored by witchcraft. Doctors have made plenty medical mistakes on your body. It was sponsored by witchcraft. Right there where you are. There is a correction taking place. Don't worry. Don't worry about how you are feeling. There is an earthquake. Violent eruption on your womb area. Let's try it. The medical mistakes have been corrected one by one. I have a word for somebody. I don't know who that person is. But the Lord said in your dream tonight, the foundational strong man worrying your life, you shall witness his burial. Father, we thank you for tonight. And we thank you for your grace and your power. We thank you because we can trust in your name every day, every hour. Who is like unto the Lord our God? Who rided upon the winds and that to help us? Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, I decree by the decree of heaven that any blessing left for anybody in this month that the enemy wants to steal we arrest the blessing and give it to the owner. In the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon us tonight. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A louder amen. Let's take our Bibles. God bless you. As we open to the book of Matthew chapter 25. And this evening we are looking at the senseless traders. The senseless traders. Please listen very carefully to this very deep message. The senseless traders. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Unto one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one. To every man according to his several ability, and straight away took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made the other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. 
opportunity that had received one went and digged in the earth and eat his lord's money. After a long time, the lord of those servants commented and reconnect with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have given beside them five talents more, making ten. He was a profitable trader. It's not said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. What cost that one? He traded. 22. He also that has received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents behold, I have given two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. Things. And I will make the ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strawed. And I was afraid. And I went and ate the talent in the earth. No. There thou hast that is done. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked, 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 thou wicked and slothful servant. Thou knowest that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have not strode. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I shall have received my own which usury. So therefore take the talent from him. And give it to him which had ten talents. Then this fearful prophecy. For unto everyone that hath shall be given, he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away, even that which he had, and cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness, where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This parable, listen very carefully. Is loaded, loaded with messages. Let me just quickly run through messages you can pick from here before we now narrow down. Number one, you, I, everybody, you don't really own anything. Everything that you own belongs to the Lord. The talent does not belong to you, it belongs to the Lord. That intelligence does not belong to you. It belongs to the Lord. So technically you own nothing. Two. The more risk you take, the more opportunities you have. These are lessons to pick from this place. Three. The more opportunities you have, the greater the chance of your success. Meaning that if you are afraid of taking risk, you will never succeed. Faith itself is a risk. Those who ever succeeded took some risks. And the risk opened up opportunities. And as there are plenty of opportunities, their success rate increased. Four. When gifts are buried, it is a tragedy. There was a scientific publication. I read it. I was almost crying. The scientists discovered that only 3%, 3 over 100 of gifted children ever fulfill their maximum potential. Only 3%. The others, in spite of the fact that they are gifted, they are wasted. I'm praying for somebody. The power that wants to bury your gift. The power that wants to bury your talent. The power that wants to bury your star. I decree that those powers will be massively disgraced. In the name of Jesus. When gifts are buried, it is a tragedy. Five. 
God trusts us with things He gives us. What He has given to you is trusting that you will use it well. Six. Our gifts represent our ability. All this you pick up from this. Seven. The principle of opportunity is a chance to grow. No matter that opportunity presented to you, is a chance to grow. These are lessons. Eight. Life itself is an adventure in responsibility. Is an adventure in responsibility. These are lessons from this passage. Now, what we do with what we have reveals our views of God. What we do with what we have reveals our view of God. Ten. A day of accountability is coming where you will be required to stand and give an account on what you have done with what heaven has deposited into your life. And make no mistake, that man said, I know that thou art a hard man. The master did not deny it. He didn't deny it. He said, that's correct. I am a hard man. The Lord God is a disciplinarian. It's a hard man. Eleven. What we have, we must use or we will lose it. If you don't use it, you lose it. If you don't use it, you lose it. Twelve. Who you follow determines what follows you. Who you follow determines what follows you. If you are following failure, you fail. Follow success, you succeed. Thirteen. Laziness is a destiny sinker. It sinks people's destiny. Many brothers, many sisters are plain lazy. Because of that laziness, everyone cannot really do much for them. That's why some students, instead of sitting down to read their books, they rather prefer to sleep with this lecturer, sleep with that lecturer, so that I can pass them. Because of laziness to read. Fourteen. You can either see opportunities as a burden or as a blessing. Fifteen. Your gift has the power to change your life. Can change your life. That gift you have has the power. Sixteen. Unless we invest what we have been given, it shall be wasted. That which heaven has given to us, if we don't invest it, and bring profit, it shall be wasted. I pray for somebody tonight. Any wastage of your destiny shall be arrested by the angels of fire. <laughs> 17. There is no such thing as risk-free life. No risk-free life. Those willing to risk nothing actually risk losing everything. The Bible says, he that wants to save his life shall lose it. 18. The unprofitable servant lost everything by doing nothing. 19. He who does not learn from history will often repeat that history. That's why recently I've been calling prayers that every power that stopped my parents, I stop you before you stop me. I will not suffer what my parents suffer. That's why we're calling those prayers. 20. You can make a difference with your life if you will make most of the opportunities God has given to you. So life is a giver of opportunity and you must use it to make your life better. 21, which is where I'm going to stop. There are almost 50 lessons to learn here. 21. Every man and woman is a trader. A trader one way or the other. Beloved, I want you to understand what you just said. Every man or woman is a trader. Listen carefully. We do not determine what we receive in life. You have 
absolutely no control on who your parents will be. You don't control who your parents are. Your parents are your parents, and that's it. You don't control where you are born. There's nothing you can do about that. You don't control the date you are born. There's nothing you can do about that one. You don't control the kind of family you would like to be born in. There's nothing you can do about that one. You can't determine the city or country where you'll be born. There's nothing you can do about that one. You cannot control the experiences you will have as you are growing up as a child. You have no control over those things. Somebody is born into a rich family, so he's born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Somebody is born into a poor family, and all of them start their race. Some start well, some start very badly. Some start with seven, some start with three, some start with one. Some start with seven gifts, five gifts, some start with four gifts, some start with one. The odd fact is this. The issue is not what you have, but whether you will change the value of what you have. They gave that man five talents. He changed the value. Became ten. They gave the other two talents. He changed the value. It becomes four in his hand. The one who was born poor can catch up with the one who was born rich. If he can utilize very well what he has, God can give you a divine acceleration. Because according to First Samuel chapter 2, First Samuel chapter 2, from verse 6. First Samuel chapter 2, from verse 6. Look at this wonderful passage. One of my favorite passages in scripture. First Samuel 2, 6. It says this. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor. And make it rich. He bring it low. And lift it up. He raise it up the poor. Out of the dust. And lifted up the beggar. From the dungeon. To set them among princes. And to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he has set the world upon them. God is a specialist at picking the poor from the dust and giving that poor a divine acceleration. God is a specialist at lifting up the beggar from the dungeon and giving divine acceleration to go and meet the princess. So the one who is born poor and the one who is born rich, God can give divine acceleration to the poor to catch up and to partake. Listen and listen to me very well. Because many of them don't understand these factors. Many of us think we can't do well unless we have something big to start. Many of us think that you don't need a small beginning. You need something big to become big. No. I shared this with you before. It was at railway company. When we were small boys. That we went to pluck mango in somebody's company. Not knowing that the man had a bulldog. The man to be a wicked person. Instead of shouting, I said, boys, get out of my compound. Just quietly opened the door of his sitting room and released his bulldog. I have never seen such a tall dog before. And he galloped towards us. We were throwing stones at the mango before that day. I have never climbed a tree before. But when this dog was coming, what I could just remember was that I was on the top of that tree. How I got there, I did not know. In life, in life, to run as fast as what is running after you. The man born to a rich home, born to the city, may be sluggish. The one that wakes up in the morning with the smell of sausage rolls, conflict in the kitchen, may be dozing while he or she is reading his or her book. The one who has come, from a place where they take the person from car to car, from supermarket to supermarket, may decide to be running around with girlfriends. But the man from the village, who has never slept on a bed before, 
who considers ordinary recharge lamp as luxury. Because in the village where I came from, it's Aladdin lamp we used to read. His case calls for acceleration. He knows what is pursuing him. Poverty is already pursuing him. He has to run. I want you to understand that in life, what is pursuing determines how fast you run. This is part of why there is plenty of revival in Africa now. A lot of ministries about a lot of people praying. The reason is because we know what is running after us. A man pursued by a lion is different from a man pursued by a dog. A man who has come from a family. In that family, no graduate, nobody has a house, not a single comfortable person. You look around for a helper, you don't find anybody. Your speed will be different. A man pursued by a lion is different from a man pursued by a rabbit. Listen and listen to me very well. In life, you do not control where you start, but you can control where you end. In life, you do not control the kind of opportunities you receive, but you can control the value you give to that opportunity. The man with five talents traded with his talent. That which God has given to you, he expects you to trade with it. Put it to good use. And when we say you are trading, you are doing two things. You give up what you have and take up what you do not have. That's what we call trading. Give up what you have, take up what you do not have. When you go to school, you give up ignorance to receive knowledge. That's trading. When you are a sinner, you give up your sin and you get the righteousness of God. That's trading. You should trade what you have and take what you do not have. There are many examples of people in scripture who traded what they had for what they did not have. Both positive and negative. They traded what they had to receive what they did not have. Joseph traded prison for rulership. Esau traded his birthright for a plate of food. Jacob traded his food and got the birthright. Esther traded ordinariness and she got royalty. Samson traded his anointing and got death and disgrace. Some trade and sell useful things to acquire useless things. Some trade and sell of useless things to acquire useful things. My challenge to you tonight, trade those negative things away and get the positive thing. Then the opportunities to give the talents God has given to you, put them to trade so that you can get what everyone wants you to get. If you are sick, you can trade your sickness for healing. If you are paralyzed, you can trade your paralysis for strength. If you are a sinner, you can trade that sin for the righteousness of God. If you are there, you can trade your being down and get the position of being lifted up. Bottom line is it, any place you are in life can be the beginning of being lifted up. I want you to understand this very well. You are not too old to change your ways. You are not too old to invest into your destiny. I read a story about a man, a 30 year old man, who went and enrolled in primary one. He was older than all the teachers in the school. He was the oldest person in the old school. A lot of people complain. This is not good for the children. How can a 13 year old man be sitting in primary one? They wanted to eject him from the school. But some people also complain. Ah, the man wants to read. Let him read. Thirty started primary school. At the age of 36, he was out. At 41, 42, he was out of the secondary school. At 46, he was already a graduate. At 53, he already had a PhD. So the question is not his age when he started. The question is, do you want to be a 55-year-old illiterate man, or you want to be a 55-year-old man with a PhD? So you should not waste the grace of God that he has given to your life. You might be here tonight and you will find that people have left you behind. No matter your age, people have left you behind. Nothing to worry about. Moses started at the age of 80. 
You may not be able to control what you have, like I've been saying. But you can give new value to what is in your hand. You may not like what you have, but you can trade it for what you like. You may think it is too late, but that is not correct. Every point can be a new beginning. It may be you have to take some new steps, you have to acquire certain things. So tonight you have to behave like the four lepers who will review their situations. Say, ah, <laughs> the enemy has surrounded this place. There is no food in our city. Instead of just dying here, let's go. If the enemy kills us, fine. If they give us food, fine. But to sit down here, I just, we got legs to walk. And they moved. When they now moved, they found that the enemies, they fled so much, had fled. And left all their food behind. I pray tonight that all the enemies that do not want you to rise shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. The worst trader of all in scripture was Judas Iscariot. He traded ministry and destiny for 30 shekels of silver. There are so many sisters now. They are trading the presence of God for jewelry. Trading it for worldliness. Judas was the worst trader. He traded ministry destiny for just 30 shekels of silver which you could not spend. And in doing that, he lost the presence of Jesus Christ. He lost the privilege of the apostolic ministry. He lost his participation in Pentecost. He lost his place in the ministry. He lost his habitation. When they prophesied upon him that his habitation shall become desolate, he lost his place in heaven. I pray that you will not lose your place. Before something gets lost, it may first of all become lose. Lose. You don't pick up a golden coin and begin to toss it up and down inside the boat. Because you will lose it. You will lose it. I pray that the hand of God will be mighty upon somebody. And the yoke of the oppressor will be broken to pieces. I've been listening to men singing. It is difficult to find a replacement for one man called Sam Cook. Sam Cook, powerful gospel singer. All of a sudden, somebody convinced that his voice would be better in the world. That this singing is singing in church, he's not getting much. He's go out there and sing. He listened to them, abandoned the church, and went to the world to sing. He made money. But at the age when he would begin to enjoy the money, Nobody knew what he did to a woman. The woman just took a gun and shot him dead. That was how some cook was wasted. Whatever you trade Jesus with, you will eventually lose it. Whatever you trade Jesus with, you will eventually lose it. What do you need to do? What are the keys to becoming a profitable trader? So that you cook and hear, well done. Number one is total surrender to God. Total surrender to God. Number two, that you must be close to God. Close, be close to God. And every man or woman is as close to God as they want to be. Three, know your destiny. Know your destiny. Know the purpose that God has brought you into this world for. It is important you know it. And the earlier you know it, the better. Four. Evaluate your current position. The position you are now, evaluate them. Am I where God Almighty wants me to be? Number five. Once you find that your current position is wrong, hate it with perfect hatred. Hate that evil position with perfect hatred. Develop a rugged determination to reposition your life. A rugged determination. I must reposition my life. Whatever it takes, I must reposition my life. Seven. Practice aggressive and unashamed holiness. Practice aggressive and unashamed holiness. This is a key that will give you the kind of life you should have. 8. 
pray yourself into divine position. Once you find that they are not where God wants you to be, pray yourself back into position where He wants you to be. And nine, work hard. Work hard. Do not be lazy. If you are lazy, the Lord will add another name to you. will call you wicked. And ten, ensure that you complete your deliverance. These are the ten keys to deliver you from unprofitable trading with your life. Wherever you have, whatever position you have, you can reinvent your life. With what you have, you can move to where God wants you to be. This is where we need serious prayers tonight. A lot of people are already accepting where they are. So, well, let me stay here. Well, well, maybe there is no way forward. Well, I have come from a poor home. Well, nobody is helping me. Well, I have no capital. Well, well, well. You are just limiting yourself. You can use what you have now. Empowered by the forces of divine acceleration. And still make a destiny for your life. John the Baptist came on board very late. But when he arrived, he shook. He shook the world. He came late, but he shook the world. All eyes closed. There are people tonight who really need to rebrand their lives, reinvent their destiny. There are people tonight who should pray themselves from where they are to where God wants them to be. There are people tonight it will appear as if the enemy has put you down in a satanic bus stop. Any attempt you make to get out is like there is a dog that barks at you and pulls you back. There is a lion and there is a lion. There is a satanic lion that roars against people and the people run undercover and abandon their place of destiny. But at the same time, there's a lion of Judah that can roar against the satanic lion and chase them away from harassing your life. Amen. There are powers that detain. There are powers that uproot. Tonight, the first prayer I want you to pray is a prayer to break free from every bus stop of darkness. God did not want you at that bus stop. One way or the other, you have been there for too long. You need to cry to heavens for a change tonight. You will now shout this prayer loud and clear. This is not a prayer to joke with. It could be the prayer your destiny has been waiting for. Satanic trading upon my destiny. We pray. You will now shout this loud and clear. Every power assigned to bury my gifts. Every power assigned to bury my talents. Every power assigned to bury my virtue. Can you shout those three things now? Yes. Aha. In the name of Jesus.
my glory appears. Can you shout that loud? You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Powers that was me to die before my glory appears. My potter says, Tell your care, Yabra. Yes, our power must be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. My Paula Kaya was shelter of Santa. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. I'm going to come from one to seven. Smite your head seven times. On your head lies the ear which represents your glory. Something is about to happen to you now that will change your story forever. When you smite that head, you will shout with a loud voice, Fire! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! Aha! Now begin to shake that head. Shake it vigorously. Today is the day of deliverance. Shake it vigorously. Something is coming out. Yes, shake it! Every arrow fired into the brain, fired into the head. That they are using to manipulate your glory. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every power that has been manipulating your glory. I bind them and I cast them out in the name of Jesus. Beginning from today. Your story must change. Your story must change. Your story must change. Your story must change. Your story must change in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You, that person that the enemy has been harassing, enough is enough. Yes. I command the power of the oppressor to release your legs, release your hands, to release your body. In the name of Jesus. Owners of evil law, what are you waiting for? Carry your law in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Command them to carry their loads. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Allah, let my story change. In the name of Jesus. Cry unto the Lord now for a change of story. Your story must change. Your story must change. Papola katende rabo shente rabo santa. The river support the kayabo. Bali katende kayabo shente rabo santa. Your story must change. Pray this prayer with violence and with power, without any apology to any power. Anything can happen now. Pray the way you have never prayed before. Surprise! That handed me over to the strong man. You are a liar.
power that under him over the strong man. Die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Raise your two arms to the heaven as you pray this prayer. The louder you pray it, the faster. My blessings held up in the covens. Come out my fire in the name of Jesus. Come on to come out. Mapote seteli kaya boshanda, ribo sopende kaya boshenta rabo sente. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that person that you know that your body is decaying internally, nobody needs to tell you can smell it. Right there where you are, begin to drink the blood of Jesus. Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it, drink, 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 drink the blood of Jesus. Aha. I command you to recover yourself now. In the name of Jesus, with a military voice, shout this. I shall laugh last. You are not shouting it yet. You are still not shouting it yet. Over my enemies by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. In Jesus' name we pray. Now from inside your belly, not just from the mouth alone. If you believe that prayer you just prayed, with a loud voice, begin to laugh your enemies to scorn. <laughs> just laugh them to scorn. Laugh them to scorn. <laughs> Make it louder, make it louder. <laughs> Aha. Amen. I shall love love over my enemies by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shout it again. Shout it a second time. Make it louder now. A louder amen. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray now. In this prayer session, anything can happen at any time. Father, in the name of Jesus. Your amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because your word says that oppression shall be far away from us. Your word says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Your word says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, I decree right now that anyone the weapon of the enemy is already prospering in your life. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Master Polikaya, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. When I say one, two, three, go now. You shout the name of Jesus seven aggressive times and then you keep quiet. 
your angels that are moving around let them begin to touch them yes all those who have been dedicated by their parents or anything receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus say I receive power to rewrite my family history by the power in the blood of Jesus, can you shout that loud? Shout it again. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Jesus name we pray all eyes closed the prayers I want you to pray now they are not ordinary prayers but it's important that you do not negotiate with the enemy it's important that you do not joke with the prayers at all it's important that you pray it well violently immediately the process of this prayer start the miracle hand of God will begin to work some people it will go back 20 years 30 years 50 years some will just see the body lifting away some may actually see the strong man pulling out of their bodies if you pray this prayer and you lose your voice but the process of deep deliverance happens in your life you will have done yourself a world of favor while the process of this prayer is going on there are people all your life they have been pressing you down it is those power that are pressing you down that you want to unseat now there are people the enemy has fired all kinds of arrows into your body so as if the body does not belong to you you will see what will happen in the next five minutes if you will open your mouth and pray aggressively blind Bartimaeus screamed and cried out Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. His voice was loud enough to embarrass people. For the voice of a single man to embarrass a crowd, it must be a serious cry. It is that kind of cry that can get the breakthrough. The Bible says, In the day that I cry, then shall my enemies come back. There is somebody here. Immediately you begin to cry out to God now. The enemies that pursue your grandfather pursue your father as now pursue you shall be buried alive if in the process of these prayers you find that you could not remain on your feet right there on the floor where you are continue the prayers now place your hand on your belly button area with a voice that nobody beside you will overshadow 
you will shout this loud and clear blood of jesus deliver my foundation in the name of jesus there must be great deliverance thank you Jesus thank you Jesus aha 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 Jesus name we pray uh -huh. we're making progress we're making huge progress say voices from my foundation that are attacking my star yeah! in the name of Jesus Makatenda ya boshente rabo setende ke ya ba. Ba pia ni katenda rabo shente rabo senta. Opu ya mouth, opu ya mouth, opu ya mouth. In Jesus then we pray. Thank you Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I am going to count seven from here, which is a sign of perfection. Something is going to happen to three groups of people. Number one set of people. Everywhere you go, you face unexplainable hatred. The power of God will fall upon you, and that yoke shall be broken. Number two, you are at the edge of a serious breakthrough right now. But some forces have just risen up again to steal that breakthrough. As I count seven, the power of God will fall upon you. And that yoke shall be broken. And by the next power must change hands, you come here with your testimony. As I count to seven, all those who are here, and you came here almost lifeless, the power of God will fall upon you. And your blood that has been taken away shall be returned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, you have been operating for a long time. Today is the expiry date of that operation. Masi katende kaya bo shende raba. Riba sepi ali katende. Just shake the serpent out of your head. Shake the serpent out of your head. Masi katende kaya bo shanda. Aha. Yes. Amen. You that unexplainable swelling in the body, I command you to depart from your hiding place in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Right there where you are, receive the touch of the great physician in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the great physician in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. There are serious prayers to pray. Very serious prayers. If you pray this prayer, this single prayer will bring you uncommon testimonies pray this prayer to 
encounter your testimonies joy swallow us of my father's house is that the loudest you can shout it your voice is still not loud enough make it a louder shout in the name of Jesus those who are swallowing the joy of your father's house Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Stretch your right hand towards me here. Father, these hands that are stretched here, let his hand carry the fire power of God. Let it carry the healing power of Jehovah. When you use his hand this day, every bondage shall be broken. And every arrow of death and hell shall go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. Now, anywhere you are having problem in your body, smite it without mercy 21 times. And shout, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Satania Aha 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 Thank you Jesus Amen Check your body now Do what you could not do before Say this after me Anything in the land of the dead troubling my life is prayer is for somebody here because your breakthrough also happened today, 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 today. Anything in the land of the dead troubling my life. Death! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Masateli Kaya In Jesus' name we pray. That's right. Check that body. Yes. The arrow fired into your head. That makes it look as if it's going to burst. The power of God is coming upon you. That person over there, they say you have cancer fire is coming upon your body and that disease is drying up check your body check your body this particular prayer is a serious one indeed lay your right hand on your head then later you lay your hand on your chest as we pray this prayer let's start with the head foundational injury In my life, can you shout it loud? Yeah. 
Is that the loudest you can shout it? Receive healing in the name of Jesus. Yes, foundational injury. Receive healing now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say any dark power living in my house or around my house. Can I hear you saying that loud and clear? That voice is not loud enough. Uh huh. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Any dark power living in my house or around my house, command them to get out. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Father, I'm praying for anyone under the sound of my voice who has been dedicated to any idol and this idol from the waters from the forest from the mountains the idol that has been controlling this destiny makatenda le karibo setia upon everyone like that here let the chain of the idol power be broken now we broke it, 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 in the name of Jesus. That evil tree planted in your father's house with your name that has been troubling your life. Let the chain of that satanic tree upon your destiny be broken now in the name of Jesus oh yes aha aha Anyone who has stepped on any magic item or any sorcery item or any enchantment item and the thing is affecting their legs, let the fire of the God of Elijah burn to ashes every plantation of darkness in the name of Jesus. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Father, I'm praying. For all those here or under the sound of my voice who have been dedicated to the waters and the power controlling their destiny is inside the waters. Father, as I count seven from here, let your liquid fire fall upon such people and let the yoke of the waters be broken to pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Aha. You now need to pray this prayer. 
the prayer that delivered that woman from the bondage pause assigned to use me as a sacrifice you are a liar Die! in the name of Jesus Deal with that power now. In Jesus' name we pray. A servant for the man. With a loud voice, sing this song of deliverance. On to the O Lord do I lift up my soul See you. 
and mix him and them to the cove. Die in the name of Jesus. Makaten diaboshenta. Jesus name we pray shout this loud and clear powers discussing my fears in the covens can you shout that loud scatter in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree it is causing my fears in the covers. Your time is up. My sick hotel I In Jesus name we pray. Anything pronounced against my life under satanic anointing can i hear the sister saying that one brothers is that the ladders who can shout it Of Jesus, aha. Jesus name we pray I shall laugh last for my enemies in the power the blood of Jesus Jesus mighty name we pray. Sir, Holy Ghost bulldozer. Open my way in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray glory killers of my father's eyes you are a liar Death in the name of Jesus
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As you pray this next prayer, anytime you are at the edge of a breakthrough, you have some strange dreams and the breakthrough disappears. If you smell strange odors that others don't smell, shout this prayer loud and clear. Pass! God that to disgrace me! Your time is up! Scatter! In the name of Jesus! Something is happening, something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, rough life. Back seat. Can you shadow two things loud and clear? Shout it louder than that. I am not your candidate. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Rough life box it. In Jesus' name we pray. Point your right hand at me here. Father, let the Holy Ghost fire and the power of deliverance fall upon this hand. In the name of Jesus. As I can seven now smite your head vigorously. One. I want you to be more aggressive. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. Aha. Yes. Broken all the feathers. Yes. Broken all the feathers. Yes. Broken all the feather he has set me free I will sing hallelujah I will sing hallelujah I will sing hallelujah he has set me free. He has set me free. He has broken. He, he has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all. He has set me free. He has set me free. I will sing. I will sing. Hallelujah. I will sing. I will sing. Hallelujah. I will sing. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Every power that has 
was on that meal over to the strong man yeah! in the name of Jesus name we pray say anything planted in my life to disgrace me can you shout it loud Death! in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray prophesy upon your life now you will shout your name say Daniel hear the word of the Lord our lives are shot in the name of Jesus Arise and shine in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Daniel, I prophesy upon you. Move forward by fire in the name of Jesus. Prophesy upon yourself. Jesus name we pray now with a voice that roars like thunder you want to give five commands to your hands five hot commands speak to your two hands now with this spiritual order or command cobwebs a sign against my heart Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Upon my arm, in the name of 
of Jesus. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Curses upon my eyes. Pray in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Makapote sete ya boshanda Rima sape ni katanda In Jesus name we pray This is the fourth command Evil magnets Upon my earth Catch fire In the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray stretch your right hand towards me stretch your right hand towards me father these hands that are stretched here let them become instrument of deliverance instrument of power instrument of strength instrument of glory as many infirmity I shall be smitten with this hand let the infirmity go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. You will smite anywhere in your body where there is trouble. You will smite it without mercy. And shout, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. You need to smite it 21 odd times. Let's go. Do it one, do it one. My catenda yabo shante. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The fifth command upon your hand. As you are issued the command, you'll be clapping those hands. Clap it aggressively as you issue the command. My heart receive deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. Things are going on. A lot of things are going on. Every spiritual wedding ring of the spirit husband has set you on fire. In the name of Jesus. As the first person. That's number two. The fingers on fire. That's number three. Number four. Number five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The kind of prosperity you've never experienced before will begin to happen in your life now. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Shout it ten times. I plug myself into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood Jesus. Can you say it number one? 
Ça va tu C'est là, c'est là, c'est là. Pour la gloire, ça vous donne ça quand t'as du mal, fais voir. Chains will be broken. There must be no negotiation. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Powers of pocket with holes. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Cobweb spirits. Get out of my arm. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray it loud. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. These next three prayers, the Lord said, I should tell you. That as many as will open their mouth and pray with violence within the next 10 days, they will have uncommon testimony. These three prayers. My heart! Hear the word of the Lord! Locate my prosperity! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows of failure. Fire into my eyes. In the name of Jesus, somebody is breaking through. Oh, yes, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. This is the third prayer. Look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. Power of death. As 
stand against my hand. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Rima Pokatesa Tendika. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise the two hands to the heavenlies now. Raise the heavenlies. Raise the heavenlies. I decree that before you will put these hands down, the testimony, the blessings, the virtues that will shock your neighbors and surprise your friends. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Makate setende yaba. In the name of Jesus, beginning from now, even if you touch what does not sell, it shall become gold and silver in the name of Jesus. I decree that every good thing this hands have lost, my capote setendi kiaba. Before you put them down, they must repossess it. Repossess. Repossess it. Repossess it, repossess it, repossess it, repossess it, repossess it, repossess it, in the name of Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Father, I'm praying for those who are here. And the enemy has swallowed the joy in your marriage. Right there where you are. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Aha, aha. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Pokotara basetende keyabo shenta. Manakantanda rabo sopola. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Aha. Glory kill us. of my father's house can you shout this loud your voice is not loud you know I think you should try harder than that Jesus enough is enough but a settle a kaya bo shendera basant yes 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 Jesus name we pray something is about to happen divine acceleration uncommon promotion mysterious elevation it's about to happen now you will shout the name of Jesus Jesus Christ great physician I am available touch me now in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ great physician I am available Touch me now! 
Touch me now! Touch me now! Touch me now! Touch me now! Thank you, Jesus. 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 Receive the touch of the power. Receive the touch of the fire. Receive it. 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 Makapoli Kayabo Shandera Basanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody is receiving a brand new heart. Somebody is receiving a brand new kidney. Somebody is receiving a brand new womb. Check your body now. Check your body. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You now pray this particular prayer. Arrows of delayed blessing. Can you shout it louder than that? Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As someone here this day, I have a word to you from the Lord. The Lord said, I should tell you that your time of uncommon advancement has come. Your time of awesome testimony has come. Listen, the God whom you serve shall cause you to overtake those who have been mocking you. Yes. And your season of accelerated promotion has come in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be silence now. Silence now. Some surgical operation spiritually is about to take place now. All eyes closed. You, that person over there, I divorce you from this spirit that comes to your dream to have constant sex with you. I divorce you from them right now. In the name of Jesus. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. That's the power of God coming upon them. You can't hide. Enough is enough. I disconnect you over there from the spirit that brings dreams of failure to you. Anytime you are close to a breakthrough, I disconnect you right now. In the name of Jesus. I disconnect you, that person over there right now, from the evil mark placed on your forehead, preventing you from moving forward. I disconnect you right now in the name of Jesus. There is a power of God coming upon you. Every evil thing you have trampled upon that is now affecting your walking, your legs, and they are calling it arthritis and all kinds of names. Right there where you are, I command the arrows that have entered into your leg to go back to the senders in the name of Jesus. 
Il s'appelait Ma katende re kaya bo shende ra bo santia Silence The power of God is about to fall on three persons And those three persons will not be able to stand on their feet These three persons There are powers of eaters of flesh And drinkers of blood Right in your bedroom Anytime you sleep on that bed and wake up It's as if life is going out of you Right there where you are I bind and cast out from your body The spirit of death and hell In the name of Jesus That's the first person That's number two That's number three Yes. You the spirit of cancer. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written, as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their closes. I bind and cast out every arrow of infirmity of cancer in the name of Jesus. Silence. Silence. I'm going to count seven from here. The power of God is going to fall on 50 persons. And they may not be able to stand on their feet. But that will be the end of the blockages they have been noticing. The angels to process that, they are already in the midst. One. Two. Three. Four. Today is your expiry date. You can't block the way of God's people anymore. Thank you, Jesus. All those powers that have been scratching your body when you sleep, I disconnect you from them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your time of unprecedented, unexpected, and envious breakthrough has come in the name of Jesus. Yes. Your God shall make you a showroom of the display of his power in the name of Jesus. Jesus spoke to that deaf person and cried on his head in a language called Ephata. A father is a command. Be open. It is that command that Jesus gave you. You are going to give to now. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? My way of breakthrough. My way of joy. A father. In the name of Jesus. Ephata in the name of Jesus. In 
Jesus name we pray pray this prayer the way you've never prayed any prayer say Pause! that wants me to suffer what my parents suffered can I hear you shouting this loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Masepeliakia. The center la kaya bo shenta raba santa. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. This is why Jesus brought you here. That's the power of God, that's the power of God, that's the power of God, that's the power of God. Yes, something is happening. That's right. Papa, take it. Haribo Sopanda. In Jesus, then we pray. Uh huh. Your hand on your belly button. And shout this loud and clear. Collective captivity. Inherited from my parents. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Makapa da riba sopanda kaya da riba sopanda kaya bo shentera basanda in Jesus name we pray aha yes oh yes oh yes see what is happening there's a disconnection going on all over the place the evil blood that flowed into you is being extracted now. Aha. Be released. Be released. Be released. Enough is enough. Shout this with holy anger. Keep your hand on your belly button. Generational deficiency. Jesus That's the power of God That's the power of God That's the power of God Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray remember your head is a symbol of your destiny makapota lika ya bushanda ribopo lika disentendeka pray this prayer don't say you have prayed it before owners of evil Lord, carry your Lord in the name Jesus oh yes carry your loot carry your loot carry your loot in Jesus 
name we pray. Let your voice roar like fire and like thunder. Inherited infirmity. Can you shout this loud? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something is happening to somebody over there. That's right. Makatenaya Boshenta. Deal with the inherited infirmity. Jesus name we pray say I fire back every arrow of disgrace in the name of Jesus open your mouth and fire it back Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. Lay your right hand upon your head now and decree this loud and clear. Satanic luggage of my father's house. Shout it with boiling anger. I am not your candidate. Go in the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus them we pray silence now please don't say anything until I ask you to talk now maseka tenda le kaya boshandia ribo setila le katende kaya boshandia bokampea manaka di setende kaya le katende ke sependi ya boshente father I'm praying for all who are in this gathering and they have been on consciously dedicated to a shrine to an idol to an evil power wherever such people are the covenant conscious unconscious between them and the idol between them and the shrines between them and the evil agreement between them and the evil agreement I break it in the name of Jesus. Be broken, 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 in the name of Jesus. It's happening. It's happening, yes. The dedication to the waters, the dedication to the forest, the dedication to any occultic power. Break in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
that person who cannot use the legs very well Jesus is by your side therefore arise and use those legs in the name of Jesus put your foot into action and use those legs right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus father I'm praying for all those who used to dream of going back to their former house going back to their former schools going back to their old apprentice workshop going back to places they have surpassed taking examination they have passed before Mapotasecha wherever such people are now any covenant between you and backwardness I break it now in the name of Jesus you broke it, 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 you broke Yes. Shout this loud and clear. Power of the grave. Of my father's heart. Death. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Like somebody, you are so close to breakthrough that will change your story. So say that amen with value. Every power that does not want you to rejoice, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Possess a possession, 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 possess a possession in the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, we thank you for all powers belong to you. You are our rock, you are our strength. Your word says, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Father, by your power which has no respect for impossibility, lay your hands upon the hands of your people in the name of Jesus. Lay your hands upon the hands of your people in the name of Jesus. As you lay your hands on your body now, in a prophetic action, the hand of God will arise and fight all your battles. In the name of Jesus. Lay that hand on your belly button. Lay it there. And let there be silence. Father, where there is the spirit of untimely death, right there where you are, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Silence. They are departing. Yes. The spirit of death and hell is coming out through the mouth, through the nose, through the womb. That's the power of God coming upon you. Father, as many as are here, and they are wallowing under the bondage of inherited poverty, inherited backwardness, inherited failure, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Thank 
Thank you, Jesus. Every snake in your foundation that is biting your future. I kill that serpent now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Silence. Now, very gently now. Gently. Not aggressively. Gently. I'm going to count seven from here. Smite your boiling betting area seven times. Gently. One. Something is coming out already. Two. Three. The spirit of your mother is releasing you now. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now with a voice that roars like thunder. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Arrows fired from my foundation. Into my destiny. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud at all. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. You are going to pray. The prayer is in the song. And you sing this song ten times. Ten times. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours. This song is a prophetic proclamation. It's a powerful prayer. Don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. Ten times. Ten good times. All eyes closed. Are you ready? Thank you, Jesus. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Turn me to fire. Turn me to fire. In the name of Jesus. Louder, louder, louder. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Louder, louder, louder. In the name of Jesus. Say anointing that terrifies the enemy. Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to ask for that anointing. Anointing that terrifies the enemy. Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I'm praying right now for all who have breakthrough still hanging in this year. I decree by the decree of heaven that every breakthrough that has been dedicated to this year for you in a mysterious, strange way, possess your possession in the name of Jesus. I decree upon your life 
that none of your blessings shall disappear with this year. In the name of Jesus. Any power that is traveling anywhere to harm you. Any power that is going into the spirit realm to harm you will never come back. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now with a loud voice, pray this yoke-breaking prayer. Pray it without apology. Say, yoke breaker! Jesus Christ! Break my yokes now! In the name of Jesus! In Jesus name we pray Some people are being followed around by some evil powers The agenda of this power is to scuttle everything they are doing Any good thing they are doing they scuttle them Follow, follow powers Following me for evil, turn back there in the name of Jesus. Deal with that power now. But support a little tender care. Ribo support the care of shanty rabasanta. Powers following me for evil. Turn back. Turn. In Jesus' name, we pray. Stretch forward your two hands like someone who wants to receive a big present and let your amen be dynamic as I pray those gifts back into your hands father it is written that we will possess our possession anything good that has been stolen from any life no matter how long it has been stolen as this house has stretched forth now every Everything that has been stolen from you, beginning from your mother's womb, repossess them now in the name of Jesus. Repossess them, 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 in the name of Jesus.